Neptune and Uranus are classified as ice giants, rich in gases like methane CH. Deep within their atmospheres, extreme pressure, over 100 gigapascals, and temperatures approximately two fork and break apart methane molecules. The freed carbon atoms are then compressed into crystalline diamond structures. These diamonds literally rain down, forming what's called diamond precipitation. Some scientists estimate that these diamonds can be millimeters to centimeters in size, or possibly even bigger. In 2017, researchers at Stanford University and SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory used X-ray lasers to simulate planetary interiors. They subjected polystyrene, a hydrocarbon similar to methane, to immense pressure and temperature. Result, nanodiamonds were formed, proving that the physics of diamond rain is very real in the environments of Uranus and Neptune. As diamonds fall deeper into the planet, they may accumulate into a layer or ocean of diamonds. Some scientists speculate that Neptune and Uranus could contain more diamonds than all of Earth's reserves combined. But retrieving them? That's a whole other challenge. Due to the extreme conditions, no probe or spacecraft has been able to reach such depths yet. If we could mine the diamond rain of Neptune or Uranus, diamonds would become cheaper than glass. Crashing the global market. But there's a catch. Temperatures of over 7, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Pressures over 2 million times Earth's atmosphere and no solid surface to land on. It would require revolutionary space technology and AI-guided robotic miners to even think about it. Diamond rain is real, not fiction. It occurs due to extreme pressure and temperature on carbon-rich atmospheres. Neptune and Uranus might be hiding oceans of diamonds, but retrieving them remains a distant dream.